Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And I am super excited to be here with you today. I could not wait to share this with you. Um, we just got home from our two weeks holidays last night. We were at our cottage and my holiday catalog pre-order was here waiting patiently for me to arrive home and open it. So I thought I would uh, do that this evening with all of you uh, to share this fabulous new product. So when you uh, pop on here, please say hello. Uh, tell me where you're watching from. And um, if you would do me a huge favor and uh, share my video so that I can reach more crafty friends, uh, team members, and customers. So, right now, Stampin' Up! has their extra extra promotion going on. It uh, runs till August 31st. So if you were to join my Stampin' Up! family, my Sassy Stampers, um, during the month of August, you could choose to um, get product from the holiday catalog as part of your starter kit. So if you would like more information on that, please email me. I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. And as you can see, I have ordered in my catalogs. They will not be ready to go out quite yet. Another... Um, Probably another week. I have a lot of work to get done first before I get mailing these out. My in-person uh, customers will be getting them. Um, within the next two weeks, I, I have my holiday catalog kickoff party on August 27th. It's a Tuesday night and it's from six o'clock till eight o'clock in the evening. So if you are anywhere um, in the area of Strathroy, Ontario, please come by, say hello, have a look at what I have created with all of my fabulous new products. Pick up your own copy, if you haven't got one yet, of the holiday catalog. So let's get started. I can't show you the inside of the catalog, um, but I can um, show you the outside and the back cover. So let's get started with some ribbon. <clears throat> so first up we have Come to Gather Ribbon Combo Pack. I love my ribbon. Look at this. Wow, is this ever pretty? Let me get my scissors here. So I'm not... Because I ran out of time, I did not get a chance to open my box and organize everything as to the family that they go with, the suite of products. Um, so I will uh, have to ask for forgiveness for that. So look at that gorgeous ribbon. It's got a bit of shine to it. Once I can open the um, catalog and show you guys it come September 4th, then I can tell you exactly, I can open it up and say, this is what this is from. Okay, and so this is, I'm gonna say this is Cajun Craze. So that makes me think that this is the, um, from the Thanksgiving, the fall suite, so. Yes, so that's some baker's twine there with this gorgeous um, satin and weave ribbon. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, so just tuck that to the side. And then we've got, continuing on with our fall, this is new for the Halloween. Uh, suite of products. This is basic black scalloped scalloped edge ribbon. So look at how pretty is that. It's got a bit of a shine to it. 
do not look at my nails. I have a nail appointment at 9 a.m. tomorrow. It's been over three weeks, so I'm in desperate need of a manicure. Okay. Then look at this one. This is gorgeous. Merry Christmas, vanilla, and I would say that's copper. Okay. Look at how beautiful that ribbon is. Wow. I'm just tossing everything behind me in the box. Okay, so now we have some real red ruched ribbon. And it is... Doesn't say this... Where? Maybe on this side here. One inch. So look at how gorgeous is that. And then we've got this curly ribbon. It is so cute. It reminds me of a knit sweater. Okay, look. Oh, it's very soft that tape there. I'm hoping that it looks like when I'm looking at my iPad that you're getting a good look at that. Put that back on there. Then we've got some, this looks to me like, is it garden green or Shaded spruce. Shaded spruce and gold. Okay, come on. Yes, I hadn't gotten into my box yet because I had work to do first. I am I am the type of person that I have to do my work before I can play. Um, I can't seem to get my scissors underneath this to open this plastic oh there we go or not yeah so I uh, I have my sassy social tomorrow night so I had to get ready for that so that is my monthly team meeting we get together the first the second Monday of the month so that's tomorrow night so I had to get prepared for my girls for that and then I have class on Tuesday so I had to get ready for that with being away for two weeks I had lots that I had to do first so okay and this looks like cherry cobbler to me and Yes, cherry cobbler diagonal striped ribbon. Look at that. Is that ever pretty? <clears throat> and then the last of my ribbons is this garden green, right? Double stitched garden green, double stitched ribbon. So look at that. Now, if there is no red live button at the top left-hand corner, that means you are watching the replay either on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel. Uh, please still uh, say hello and uh, chat with me. I'd love to hear from you. Share my video. Leave me a comment. <clears throat> okay, so next is, I have been so excited for these. So this is the new Delicata Pigment Ink. Celestial Copper, Silvery Shimmer, and Golden Glitz. And I watched a video that Janet Wakelin had done, and... Um, with this ink and she was showing how 
on the foil sheets it does not dry on the vellum it takes a little while to dry and it dries fairly quickly on cardstock so we also have our reinkers with that as well so this is going to be showing up in my fall um, classes for sure okay next we have i wish i had time to get this all in an order but it is what it is right so this is jingle bells so these are larger than the ones we had in the past so these would be garden green i would say that's cherry cobbler and gold super super cute and then we have to go with our halloween suite assorted googly eyes now look at that they are so cute get that out of the way so we've got your white eyes your gorgeous grape and um i'm gonna say that's granny apple green so here we go that's our different googly eyes i cannot wait to start creating with that okay and then let's see what's in this snowfall accents puff paint oh i was so excited for this as well way back when i first started crafting um there was puff paint so this here um, is brand new for stamping up it says shake well before using applying a thin line then heat with a heat tool to puff the paint so the snowman stamp set and any of your trees and your uh, branches this is going to be perfect for it so put that to the side and then this here is our shimmery crystal effects i loved my crystal effects before and when they took it away when they retired it we uh got our um fine tip glue pen and people were using that for the um crystal effects type of thing so this is new and it is got shimmer to it. So let's just put this on this scrap piece of cardstock. Okay, so there's little. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up very well or not. We've got little um, bits of sparkle in there. Very cool. Looking forward to playing with that as well. If you haven't heard from me in a while, you know what, what I, where I am. I'm down here in my craft room, playing away, creating new projects for you. Okay, so this is something else that I'm happy that we were getting. This is the Basic Pattern Decorative Masks. And I have plans already for these. So we have this pattern here. That one there. See if I put, see, you can see it better if I do this. So there. And then this one here. This is the one that I was really excited for the trees now with the with the um decorative masks you can use our um embossing paste we have white and shimmery white you can color those with your reinkers or you could even use some now that we've got the um the copper the silver and the gold um you could use those to color it or you can use a sponge dauber and your ink pads and a polka dot so that is those put those off to the side okay so now let's look at our 
designer series paper wrapped in plaid and this is six by six now remember i'm doing a oh i don't need that this open like this i am doing a paper share i will have the um registration coming out next week so you get one two you get four of each so we've got this is the one side Ooh, it's got some gold in there and that's the other okay and then our polka dots here and then that and this I believe goes with the um, the Christmas tree the um, I don't remember what it's called. It's gonna take me a while to remember the names. Um, it's gonna go with that sweet, the punch, the tree punch. Um, oh, when I'm looking, of course, when you're trying to look quickly, you never see. Perfectly plaid bundle. So it's the perfectly plaid stamp set and the pine tree punch. So this is gonna go with that. Hi, Sue, how are you? Do you have that grandbaby yet with you or you does he come tomorrow? Okay, so then we've got the reindeer and then the opposite. Okay, so this is a smaller pattern and then this is a bit bigger. Very, very nice. And then we've got your stripe. Ooh, isn't that nice? Pine cones, more plaid. Pine trees. So the opposite side the one side is um, just your regular type, and then the opposite side has the uh, bit of gold in that. Polka dots. And some more reindeer. And then we've got some holly. Knight of Navy and um, Garden Green, I'm gonna say. And then your Christmas stockings and your Garden Green. So that is that package. Let's just put that back inside so that it doesn't... I'm gonna have quite the mess to clean up here. Now this pattern, here, this package here is the Feels Like Frost, and again, it's six by six, and it's specialty designer series paper. This is gorgeous. I was very excited to uh, get this in. So again, it's four of each of the patterns, so four sheets, so, oh, look at that. So this is, um, your purple so it would be your um, purple posy and Highland Heather very pretty so you've got your choices of doing it with this or doing it with the silver and then we've got some silver stripe oh isn't that lovely And with this here, when once you cut it up, you could just, if you were to cut your, so that it was the five, four and a quarter by five and a half, then you would just put a sentiment over here and your paper does all the talking for the card. You don't need to do with, too much more with something as gorgeous as that. So then we've got our uh, silver snowflakes. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. 
so beautiful. And then we've got a leaf holly type of pattern and more frost and there's that veining of purple in there your winter scene and then more of that with the snowflake in the leaf I love these photorealistic papers. They're just gorgeous. Okay, some uh, pine boughs there. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. Now, I don't like the cold. I'm always cold in the winter, but I do love the look. Okay, now we've got this pattern here. And with this silver, you would only need a little bit to make a real statement on your card. And I hope you that when you buy your designer series paper that you are chopping it. Show it some love and cut it up and put it on a card or on your scrapbook page. Does nobody any good if it just sits in the package. You've got to use it. Look at this. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the pink in that. And then there's that, very pretty. And the last is this one here. With that, isn't that nice? And I would love for you to tell me what is the product that you're most looking forward to after I show you everything that I've gotten. Okay, now this is the Night Before Christmas 6x6. And this is a little different the way this is packaged. So I'm just going to carefully slice that open without cutting my paper. All right, so this goes with the um, Santa the different Santa um, suite of products. Uh, what's it called? I'm not. Is it the Holly Jolly? Maybe? I'm not sure. But anyway, so we've got your Christmas tree and your presents. And this is very vanilla. So that you've got. Um, some vanilla options this year. This I would say is crushed curry with the old fashioned reindeer and some stripe. Your stockings, more stripes. This is fun, your Santa hats. And that would be pretty peacock. And then your ornaments. Some crumb cake, I'm going to assume. <clears throat> More presents. Hot chocolate and cookies. Santa's a snack. Your candy canes. And then a string of lights. Ooh, that one I would not be able to use a whole lot of that. That one is freaking my eyes out. And then, of course, Santa in his sleigh. Very cute. Oh, I like this. And this is pretty. Your stars. Holly, and then your cards. Very nice. 
So with my, my holiday catalog paper share, you would get a quarter package of all of the holiday catalog designer series paper. This next one is Let It Snow. Uh, it's specialty designer series paper. Sorry for the crinkling. So this goes with the snowman suite that was um, top of my list. So can you see that this has got that um, glitter on it? Very pretty. And then the opposite is a really nice stripe. Oh, isn't this fun? Look at this, guys. So we've got our snowmen, and again, they are sparkly. So you can cut these strips out or um, this way, or cut, cut your fussy cut your uh, snowmen out. Super cute. And then the opposite is um, red with the white dots. Okay, and then we've got mittens and a stripe. Oh, aren't these fun? Look at that sparkle. So cute. Another stripe. And then we've got hats, and our hats have the, um, the sparkle on them as well. And then, oh, I like that. I'm going to say this is Coastal Cabana. And then the last is all these snowmen. And then that's the opposite of that. Awesome paper. I cannot wait to start cutting into it and creating with it. So we're just going to slide you back in here out of the way. Okay, and then my last package of paper was number one. This was top, the snowman. Oh, no, I've got two packages in here. The snowman and this uh, monster bash were my top two, but my number one was monster bash. I love Halloween stuff. Okay. Wait till you see some of this Halloween stuff I've got. It is fantastic. All right, so there are dies that this, um, let me see if I can't find all of my, that goes with that and that. I'm just trying to pull ornate frames. Okay, so with this, um, the black ribbon goes with it as well. So this is a suite of products that, where is my, oh, here. So we've got the stylish scroll embossing folder. We've got our designer series paper. <clears throat> we've got the basic black scalloped ribbon. We've got these adorable monster bash enamel shapes. How cute are these? Then we've got the Spooktacular Bash um, stamp set. Look at that, Count Dracula and the Mummy. So cute. And then these dies. If you're not a Halloween person, wait till you see these dies, guys. It's just like, wow, you don't have to use. You could just, if you're not a Halloween fan, look at these. You could just purchase these dies. Look at how gorgeous the scrolling, some stitching. You can put any kind of sentiment in here. Or if you are a fan of the Halloween products, you can take, and this die is going to, these dies are going to, not only are they going to die cut your stamps, but, um, 
I'm sure there is a framed in here that they will coordinate with. So, let me, before I get this stuck on something. So these dies here, they are the ornate frame dies. These are gorgeous. And I can see using these with uh, sympathy cards, with holiday cards, with uh, birthday cards. Really fabulous. Okay, so let's look at this paper. How cute. This looks like... Um, is it Morticia from the Munsters? I can't remember her name. But anyways, isn't that cute? And then the opposite. Oh, is nice. Look at that. Like a newsprint. And then we've got your bats. I like that. Oh, and look at that gorgeous pattern. So nice. And then the castle, Dracula's castle with all those bats. And then I'm not a gamer, so I'm assuming this is like some kind of a game. And then we've got all our fun bottles of different things apothecary jars and that with the salamander and a crab and octopus so cute and then there's that pattern in the crushed curry then we've got our books and on the back is a recipe um, type of yeah, garnish, fried fillet of Kraken. One miniature Kraken, two cups of wheat flour, 12 vulture eggs, whisks. Ha ha, so cute. Look at this, so cute. And then the back of that is your spider webs. Adorable, I cannot wait to start playing with this. slide that back in so that I showed you the I because I knew you could tell that this was the suite of products that I had to have it all and I can tell you that Stampin Up has um, for this catalog as well they have um, bundled some products together that you can get everything that's on the page so the I've got to have it all was your paper, your designer series paper, your bundle, your embellishments, your ribbon, and your embossing folder. Let me just off camera here flip to find that. Is that, oh, no, there's one more thing that goes with that. I, how could I forget? I'm so excited for this. Wait till you see what this is, you guys. This is just like, oh my gosh. All right. So, if I can get into it without. We have coffin treat boxes. So, it is a package of, they're food safe, a package of 12. So you've got, let's see if I'm trying to get one of these out here. There we go. Without taking them all out. Okay, so you don't have to die cut it. So you've got the, the top and the bottom. So you're just going to fold on your score lines. And although we don't have little kids um, and we don't have grandchildren, so when Stampin' Up! has super cute um, products for Halloween out um, at Brad's office that he works at, I always say to him, well, how many kids, your coworkers, 
how many kids are there and I will make up special little treat things occasionally for um, him to take to work because I just want to make these fun Halloween things and hand them out to to special little people so see how easy that was and you just are going to them with your tape you're going to and it's not taped together so it's going to go together like this oh how cute is that oh it's so cute i cannot wait to make stuff with this i am so excited so all of this so you've got your package of your coffin treat boxes your enamel shapes your ribbon your stamp set and dies your embossing folder and your designer series paper the i want it all is 121.50 for all of this and all of the crafting you can do with that is just wow 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 okay so let me tuck this off to the side because we don't want it to get wrecked okay so Next, the last piece of package of designer series paper. Oh, come gather, come to gather designer series papers. So, hi Stephanie, how are you? All right. So, isn't this soft and pretty? Oh, look at that. Like it. Okay, and then we've got a nice stripe. Feathers. More pumpkins. I really like the colors in this package of paper. The ribbon and the designer series paper is all I got from this suite of products at this point in time. So this is your smaller pumpkins. Oh, look at that, another wood grain. Nice. And then looks like a linen with the polka dot and then your leaves. So that is that package. So let's tuck you off to the side. Now I will show you that we are, we do have real red glimmer paper has come back, only it doesn't have that um, kind of a waxy, plasticky backing on it. So that makes it easier to punch and die cut. Okay, so now let's grab my stamp sets here and okay so let's see if I can't oh here we go so we have a snow globe stamp set called still scenes and it is the um, cling and then we have the snow globe dies that look at this how gorgeous is that with the scrolling so you've got a church two churches two different types of churches your polar bears a deer and then your trees and then I am sure I'm going to find some other things to put inside that snow globe. So we also have the snow globe shaker domes. So these are thinner than the previous domed um, things we had. So you can see that they're not very thick there. So it is going to cost you a bit of postage if you're going to mail it. And I think I would put something, a, a padded envelope maybe, 
Um, but I would definitely go into the post office so that it doesn't get machine sorted, that it's hand sorted so it doesn't get totally wrecked on you. So that is the still scenes. And then we have the tiny keepsakes. And that is going to go with the, um, over here. It's gonna go with the curvy mini keepsake box dies. So that, we had a curvy keepsake die a few years ago and it has retired and this is smaller and it's all one die. So those of you that do craft uh, shows and fairs, this is one die. So you're only going to need to, you're only going to have to cut once. And then you've got your tags and your sprigs and then your little, um, stamps there with your sentiments cute 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 okay so that then oh this goes with the googly eyes boo to you isn't this so cute adorable i cannot wait to start playing with this one then we've got um are we for that cup of cheer so this is a new type of stamp set that Stampin' Up! has come up out with that you are going to be able to stamp it both ways so you can stamp it so that your handle is on the right and then you clean it off and the exact same image is on the other side so that you can have your cups side by side with the handle on the left and the handle on the right. You're not going to have to worry about trying to do it um, by mirror imaging it or anything like that. It's easy peasy. Stamp it, clean it, flip it over, stamp it the other way. Does not get any easier than that. And of course it's got the cup of cheer dies to go with it. So I am looking forward to doing some fun things with this set. So here are our dies. The candy cane. Very cute. Then next up, this goes with the um, Itty Bitty Christmas Sentiment Stamp that I got on the incentive trip that is put away on my shelf. So this is the called the Christmas Layers Die. So it's your beautiful uh, sprig and snowflakes. So I had to get that to go with my set, my stamp set. And then we've got Christmas, Christmas Cardinal Dies. This goes with the Cardinal stamp that I got on the incentive trip. Okay, so your cardinal, your branch, your um, sentiment banners, and your leaves, a little scrolly thing. And then this gorgeous embossing folder is the, what is it called? Hammered Metal. So let's find a piece of paper to put. We'll just do this, my extra, extra. And so can you see that? Very cool. And it is a 3D um, embossing folder. Then we've got the winter knit. 3D, looks like a sweater. Pull this back 
in. Okay, that doesn't work. It's not very, it's not dark enough. And I don't have any scraps of paper, colored paper out, so you're just gonna have to, um, there. Much prettier than that picture, that's for sure. Okay. And then to go with the punch that I got, that uh, pumpkin or apple punch, here's my stamp set to go with that. And no, I didn't get everything from the catalog. There's still so much more in the catalog. Trust me, you guys. So this is goes with the... Um, the two ornament punches that I got on the incentive trip. I love this font and this scripty here. Just love it. Okay, and then this here I'm very excited for. This is Nature's Beauty. It's part of the Make a Difference um, campaign that Stampin' Up! has. And this is released in all of their uh, different markets. And in Canada, $4 from the sale of each and every single one of these stamp sets is going to go to mental health organizations here in Canada. So I absolutely had to get that. I will be having a class in September on the, with this here. And I really highly encourage you all, wherever you are in the world, to order one of these so that um, Stampin' Up! donates. It's The amount is different in each market depending on the cost of the stamp set. So I believe this stamp set is $27, so $4 from the sale of every single stamp set is going to mental health organizations. Okay, and so this is the snowman season with And this was with the snowman stamp set, uh, designer series paper. So it's a punch to um, punch out all our cute little snowmen. And then we have the, wait till you see this. It's like, oh, it is a embellishment kit it's called the let it snow embellishment kit and it does not want me to get into it like it is seriously shrink wrapped here there we go so in this little cute box we have look at that pretty sparkly washi tape look at these they're little mini snowballs. They're so cute. And then we have our felt embellishments. So it's just like our follow your art embellishment kit. So we've got our little hats and our little mittens and scarves. So let me pull that out and see there's a scarf so you can decorate up your little snowman or add it to a card front and there's a cute little mitten and then your little hat isn't that so cute so that's um, real red this looks like flirty flamingo um, is this garden green and then Coastal Cabana, I'm not sure. And then, that's not all. Look at this. Your cute little embellishments. So your little snowman little arms and his carrot nose and your little buttons, so cute. So that is adorable. Okay, next, this stamp set, um, Christmas Countdown, goes with this amazing, okay, it comes like this, Christmas Countdown Project Kit. So, look at this, you guys. It is already 
made. Yes, I'm having a class with this. So we've got our instruction sheet here and with your um, pictures. And I'm sure once inside, it's gonna have, I don't wanna lose anything here because I have got one heck of a big mess in my craft room here. So we've got all of our, we've got stickers and the fronts of your boxes. Oh my goodness, it does not get any easier than this. Look at this, it's just a sheet. You don't have to cut or anything. Like seriously, you guys, look at that. How awesome is that? I'm sticking here. So you're just going to have to peel and assemble. And then we've got other stickers. And I have plans for this. So it's got your, um, what your kit includes and coordinating colors, additional items needed right here. And then on the back, you've got your pictures so that you know how to do it. And they pull right out. So I don't, I don't wanna unwrap it all. So these little boxes pull right out. So just imagine all the different things you can do with this. But the fact that you don't have to create your boxes, wow. Okay, and then, so this is the stamp set that goes with it as well. So you can do some stamping if you choose on there. And then we've got some Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And we've got some to Toil, Toil. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. T-O-I-L-E, Toil Tidings Glittery Enamel Dots. We've got some Star Designer Elements. We have, to go with our Shaker Domes, our Snowflake Sequins. Look at that. So pretty. I want those to fall all over the floor. Then we have pizza boxes in our annual catalog. We've had them for a few years now. Now you're going to have to hold on just a second. I only want to take one out. My camera's going to go crazy. Look at that gold. And of course, these are just like the other ones. They are food safe. So making your gift giving for holiday hostesses and things like that, your mailman, your bus driver, the crossing guard, you can decorate one of these up and easily hand it off to them as a wonderful little thank you gift. And then we've got the last thing is the Joy of Giving Tag Project Kit. So it's an all-inclusive kit. Comes in this box here. So it's got your Stampin' Spot in it, Poppy Parade. And then we've got this very pretty box. Oh, it's very, very pretty. Now it is cardboard. And inside are your, you've got a block, you've got some twine, you've got your dimensionals. You don't need to, anything else. If you've got your ink spot and everything in here to create your stamp set. And then you've got our instructions. And look at how cute those are. So look at that. So if you don't do tags on your gifts, you can add this to a card front and turn it into a card instead. 
But look at how gorgeous they are. And then once you're done, you've got this beautiful box that you can repurpose for something else. So that is all, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, remember, please, sharing is caring. Leave me a comment. Um, what is your favorite item? What are you looking forward to the most? If you want to get your hands on any of these products before September 4th, join my Sassy Stampers family. Um, anywhere in Canada, you can be part of my team. And um, if you just want to be a customer, that is absolutely fine. You can email me um, or message me and tell me that you want a catalog of your own and I will get one of these beautiful um, inspiration books into the mail for you as soon as I um, have everything ready and organized. So thanks so much for watching and I will uh, see you on Thursday for my regular scheduled live. Bye for now.